This episode, we're going to be talking about opportunities. If you were unaware, this is opportunities part two. So you might want to listen to part one if you haven't already. In part two, we're going to be talking about kind of the side effects of what pursuing opportunities does for you, how it affects your social life, how it affects your career, and a lot of the benefits and why saying yes and pursuing those opportunities is such a great idea. So without further ado, let's get this party started. Okay, Daniel, part of the reason we did this episode and have this entire concept of opportunities is a story you told me that really freaked me out a while back. And it was one of those things that I realized we were mortal whenever you told me about this. So without ruining any surprises for the audience, you want to tell that story? Yeah, sure. I didn't realize it freaked you out and caused you to have a little bit of an existential crisis. It did. Like seriously, up until that point, I was like, we're pretty much invincible. Daniel might be more invincible because he seems to get hurt less, but like... I mean, if Daniel's fine, I'm fine. <laughs> and so then this this happened. I was like, oh, whoa. Fair. It really did freak me out. To be fair, I mean, I didn't die. So invincible until proven otherwise, right? <laughs> That's true. Just we can accept pain. We just can't <laughs> die, apparently. <laughs> but no, the story that I think you're talking about, I assume we're on the same page here. And if I start telling this story and it, it's totally wrong, don't stop me because that would be rude. But tell yeah. me afterwards. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make fun of you long after the fact. This is a, a story from work, actually. And... In my job, part of what I do, and I don't do it quite as much now, but part of what I was doing a lot of maybe three years ago now was helping with our sales process. And so I'm not in sales. I'm not a sales person, nor do I ever really want to be. But I do have a lot of experience with essentially our product, like our, our main selling point, which is uh, health pros and these really smart people that help out with benefits because I used to be one and then I manage them, recruit and train all this sort of stuff. And so whenever we are trying to sell a client and convince them that health pros are really awesome and that they should pay us money to work with health pros, part of what they'll do, the sales team will do is they'll bring me in as the expert on health pros. And uh, I talk about health pros and I talk about how I used to be one and all this fun stuff. And so there'd be a lot of situations where I would join a, a meeting in our nice fancy boardroom, like glass table, glass room, overlooks the city of Dallas. It's like the 50, 57th floor. It's like really uh, swanky. And I get brought in always on finalist meetings, like to help close the deal. So it's, I would say fairly high pressure. And in one particular instance, we were trying to sell this pretty big client and it's it's not uncommon at all to have a, a VP or something like that in the room helping to make the sale. But in this one, in the room, we had all the normal salespeople. We had the client. We had my boss's boss's boss and his boss also in the room. So this was a big client, definitely a household name. And I've done a bunch of these before, but you know, I always feel a little bit nervous and just going into this one felt even a little bit extra nervous because it's like, okay, this is kind of a big deal. Like there's a lot of eyes on this one, definitely a big opportunity. 